Tisha with the PK Fashions channel and today I'm going to talk to you about 13 tips on how to build your wardrobe. Number one is thrift shopping. At thrift stores you can find a variety of items for a low low price and um, even though it's second hand and it's generally been used, a lot of things you can find at the thrift store that are new with tags or whatever but they're, they're knocking them down. And I advantage price of down for thrift shopping would be um, that they receive new items every single would be day. That you will find a lot of these things on sale and you can get a variety of things because it's so cheap that you can get several things for the same price that you would pay for a brand new outfit. Uh -huh. Some of the things that I found in my local thrift store. One thing that I found in my local thrift store is this casual khaki shirt, dress shirt. You can wear this with pants or you can wear this with um, a skirt or, with, or jeans or whatever you want to wear it with. And I found this for $2.99 at my thrift store. Another thing that I found was this skirt. And this was $2.99 at my local thrift store. Another thing that I found for $2.99 at my local thrift store is this skirt right here. This is a very cute skirt to me. And when I came in to go to... Um, when I found this skirt, this lady in the store was like, ooh, that's a cute skirt. Okay, first, I was looking at it. I'm going to need you to bag up about 50 feet and give me my skirt. Okay. I mean, that's just so rude. She just come, I'm sitting up here, I'm on the rack now, I'm looking. And I'm looking at the skirt and I'm like, this is a very cute skirt. And I'm looking at the skirt. And she just puts her hand on it. Oh, let me see. Hold up now. But anyway, the nerve of people. This skirt was two ninety nine. What I found was this beautiful two-piece skirt set. And this was nine dollars at my local thrift store. Now I bought this maybe like a year or so ago. But this is a skirt to it. And this is the jacket. And it's to find stuff on clearance or on sale. A lot of the times if you go to the store, a lot of those items are in the back. So my suggestion to you would be to the next time you go shopping, go to the back. Look at them red tags. Look at those red dots. Those blue dots, green dots, whatever kind of dots. And go to the back. Shop there first. Find those $3 racks. Find those $5 racks. And then work your way back to the front and see, you know, pieces. what's new. Now, what I mean by classic pieces, I mean that black blazer, those black pair of shoes, those black boots, those black khakis, that little black dress, all of the things. You get what I'm saying? Like, you can wear that blazer with anything. Okay. Um... And black basically goes with anything, of course. So, um, if you find that black blazer and um, find those black pair of pants or whatever, you can wear those with so many different things, of course. Either with your friends or you can attend a major one that they have. I have heard of um, a local area having a clothing swap or whatever. What you do prior to the clothing swap but with your friends, let's just say. Um, you would get you some little snacks, some little um, drinks and things. And what you do prior to that um, as well and is what you're doing is you're looking in your closet and you're looking for things that you don't wear, you know you're not going to wear, that still have the tag on it, you know you got it. Um, things that um, you maybe wore once and don't want to wear again. Maybe you gained some weight, maybe you lost some weight, maybe you had a baby or something like that, and um, your weight has changed. So, you need to get rid of these things. And why not just switch it with your friends? You know it's in good hands when it's with your friends. So, you have a clothing swap, you girls get together, and you um, have a little drink or something like that, and have some little snacks, and you guys swap clothing. Clothing swap. So... That's one good tip for adding more clothes or building more clothes. You make your own clothing. 
You can invest in you a sewing machine, buy some um, reasonable fabric, and basically get some patterns of, of classic things like the halter top, something that will never probably go away. Um, things like the uh, a v neck shirt or something like that. Make you a couple of shirts or a couple of pair of pants or whatever that will be sure to last through different seasons. Like, you know, these things will not ever Another go away. Another thing would be to change your accessories. If you, you would be. You will be amazed if you change your accessories, like if you change your your purse or your necklace, earrings, um, even changing your makeup sometimes can make the outfit look different. Um, if you change your shoes, that's another thing that can change your outfit. Well, it's a cheap way to build your wardrobe because all you have to do is buy some new accessories or whatever to change the outfit. Now what I mean by mixing your materials is buy some things expensive. And what I mean by buy some things expensive, like that black blazer that I was talking about, that classic piece that I was talking about. You can buy that um, more expensive because that goes with everything. You can wear that black jacket with basically anything. So, um, buy that black blazer, um, expensive. Pay $60, $70, $80, $90, $100 for it because you can wear this with a, a variety of different things. Another thing is that black pair of shoes you can buy um, more expensive as well because it's, it's, a little, it's something that you can wear with basically everything too. And buy those things expensive like the boots. You need some expensive boots. You cannot do cheap boots unless it's like a color pair that you don't. You know you're probably gonna wear like with one or two outfits. Then that's when you can kind of you know buy it a little cheaper because it's only going with two things. There's no need to buy a hundred and seventy dollar, three hundred, six hundred dollar pair of boots when you only can wear one or two things. That's not. That's not wise thinking when you're trying to build your wardrobe when you're trying to be on a budget. So you need to do some things like um, but a back pair of boots. You need to buy more expensive because you're wearing them with a lot of other things. And so that will give you room to splurge on your other items such as shirts and pants and stuff like that. You don't have to buy more expensive things unless sometimes I feel like the jeans by me being the height that I am, these cheaper jeans are kind of like, they can't, they're not long enough, number one, they, they, they don't fit right. So I have to buy a little bit more expensive. I have to get things like um, jeans from Metro Style or from Learner that have the taller sizes. And then that's when you would kind of you know, buy, splurge on the shirts or you would splurge on something else because you have to buy the more expensive bottoms for it. So you kind of have to think about which ones will be more expensive for me to buy and which ones I can splurge on. Any kind of shirt I can splurge on because there's no need for me to wear an expensive shirt. So another thing to is to mix your outfits. What I'm saying is, if you're wearing, say, a black poncho, and you're going to put on a pair of jeans, you're going to put on your accessories, and you're going to wear that black handbag, the next time you may want to wear a khaki pair of pants or something like that to go with it, um, that black poncho. So you're mixing twist your pants, pants, you switch your shirt next time, you, switch, you keep switching back and forth and it makes it look like you have more than what you have. And that is another tip on building your Another wardrobe. thing is to buy out of season clothing. Like right now it's winter so you can buy some summer stuff. You can buy some fall stuff. And you can find it all on clearance because a lot of the stores in order to make room for their current season stuff, they have to get rid of their old season stuff. It's too much stuff in the store. So they want to mark those prices down. So that is that is an advantage to you to go 
and look through those things and find some out of season stuff because most likely it will be on sale. The only downfall about getting things out of season is that next season it may not be the trend. So that is a chance you have to take when buying or when purchasing your out of season to buy bulk. A lot of things, uh, if you go on eBay or um, some stores or whatever that make that will let, allow you to buy um, bulk without um, a wholesale license or anything, um, you can take advantage of that. You know, you can buy like um, an example on eBay five polo shirts, and you get a white one, you get a red one, you get a black one, you get a blue one. And you get an orange one or something, and it's all like $135 or something like that. You buy by you buying all of those shirts in one time, they discounted you. So I guess so. Sometimes the seller may be trying to get rid of it or something like that. So um, that's one thing that will be an advantage to you to buy about buy several of them. Another thing is to shop eBay. Um, I'm an eBay seller myself. So I know some of these things that I have, uh, I have my own boutique, boutique so it's like uh, some of the stuff that I have that I purchase wholesale, it's like I don't feel like it's going to sell or I don't feel like um, I want all of this stuff in my closet. I'm trying to get rid of this stuff so that I can make room for my new inventory. You can take advantage of that because... We're marking those prices down for you guys so you can um, purchase that on so, eBay. Shopping eBay is a very good garage sales. To do. If you can go in your local area and find local garage sales, um, most of the time, if someone's having a garage sale, most likely they're either moving or they're trying to get rid of the stuff in the house. They're looking at the house and like there's too much stuff in there. So um, you can take advantage of that because they're knocking this stuff down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A lot of garage sales, they have clothing for a dollar. And they just, just want to get rid of it, whatever it is. They just want to get rid of it. So you can take advantage. Go in the morning. A lot of times, garage sales are in the morning, number one, and they're in the summertime. So, Or you can check your local newspaper or whatever to find out what is going on as far as garage sales in your area or in other areas that you're willing Another to Another thing is for. uniforms. If your job has a uniform, it would be an advantage. Like, let's say nurses or whatever. They wear scrubs every day. Only thing you have to worry about is say you have a, a Monday through Friday job. Only thing you have to worry about is the weekend. Monday through Friday. Um, your your wardrobe is already set because you're wearing your uniform. So the only thing you have to do is worry about the evening when you when it's time to go to bed. You can buy you a few little pieces for that, and your weekend, whatever you do, if you just lounge around, you can just wear your scrubs on weekend. So you can wear uniforms and say. So these are my thirteen tips to build your wardrobe. This is Phoenicia with the PK Fashions Channel. I hope this was very helpful to you. You guys have a great day and Happy New Year.